Oh yeah. It's me again. I'm in a beautiful place actually, this is quite nice. Look at this. It's always always something to appreciate in the in the nature and stuff. I'm just gonna do a sort of video off the cuff, on the cuff, off the cuff. Um it's difficult for me. Almost wanna like turn the camera away from my face, you know. <laughs> um all smiley, but it's to do with pain pain and pain and pain. Um I think I've just become aware that the grieving process and understanding how deep it is and how how big the protection mechanism in us all can be, you know, the the wanting to get away from our pain, you know. I've been doing some breathing, you know, to try and go in there. You see, for a lot of us with our traumas and, and childhood difficulties at that time, our protection mechanism was kind of trying to keep us safe and we didn't feel like we could process our feelings, you know. So, you know, they became suppressed and locked inside. And um, years later, people like me <laughs> go around like one day feeling like really good, like yesterday. And then suddenly we're going, oh my God, you know, <laughs> I feel so much pain, you know, and it feels unbearable and I would love to have a drink, you know, I I'd. I'd like some alcohol, you know, to try and numb it out. <laughs> so, you know, which is all right, but I don't really want to do that. I want to actually be able to feel the feelings, you know, and so I can talk on camera and I can be all in my head talking about it, you know, but actually going there with these emotions is a difficult thing, you know. And uh, like over the last years, I've become very aware of like, um, our soul parts, you know, and and what and what the experience is from those soul parts, you know, and what what they're trying to say, you know, what what they're trying to say from what happened to us, you know, and uh, you know, being honest with you people here, uh, mine is saying I want my mum, you know, so that's that's essentially. That's essentially, sorry, what's going on there for me is that I left my mum when I was 11 years old and uh, I'm here as a 36 year old guy <laughs> carrying the wound, you know, and uh, I didn't grow up with my father either, really, and so, you know, these things do affect people and part of me is trying to heal it. And the higher self and our spirit will want us to heal these things, you know, really, really wants us to heal these things, you know. The, the spirit of us wants us to be in our power and uh, no longer be stuck and consumed by these horrible feelings, you know, which make us all want to run to food, run to drugs, run to alcohol, run to shopping and addictions of all kinds, you know. So for many years I lived in a world of isolation and disconnection from it, you know. Um, coming up here is really good because getting into nature, you know, there's a lot of energy there, there's a beautiful spirit of the earth and it can feel lonely, you know, if you are craving people, you know, you're, you're craving connection with people, you know. But, um, it's a lot more healthy out here than it is in the cities and the towns in general, you know. And I do find people who've got big soul wounds tend to, you know, only deal with so much um, city and town, you know. And I really feel like Mother Earth, she, she supports us, you know, supports our healing and that, you know. Um, I'm aware I need to actually say something quite really 
deep and meaningful here. <laughs> But I think most it's just to say that, you know, when those feelings get strong, you just want to reach for something, you know, you want to reach for something. And in that moment, you don't realise that, hang on, you know, I need to be able to breathe and go within and actually feel what I'm feeling, you know. And that really is a hard thing, especially if you had to grow up and you felt isolated and you had to grow up on your own, you know. Um and couldn't really express to anyone how you felt you know it's easy to just keep falling into that pattern of not doing that you know today i just like really wanted a caramel slice again you know i really wanted something nice to eat you know <laughs> it's like a it's like a reward but it's not just a reward it's a nice comfort you know especially sweet foods you can understand why people love sweet foods so much because it is a comfort you know And I think there's a real fear in a lot of people about being vulnerable, you know. But if you if you can be vulnerable but know that you are actually very strong at the same time, you know, know that you're a strong soul who is choosing to process, you know, emotion or to, to integrate or understand, you know, your emotion. It's a different thing, you know. I'll just pause it there and I'll come back to this in a minute. I'm actually just gonna grab myself some stinging nettles because um, they're very good for you. They're very um, complete protein, you know, and energetically, uh, Mother Nature really, really supports our healing. And when you can eat wild foods, you know, it's really, really powerful. I feel much more comfortable with the camera looking away from my face. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but... <laughs> I feel much more at ease. It's like a tension's there, you know, when you knowing that you're being that you're being filmed, sort of thing. Look at this. Beautiful. That's the thing, when we're in nature, we realise, you know, more our in interconnectedness with everything, you know, and how we aren't actually alone, you know. And in these square boxes in our houses, you know, for people who do suffer from uh, isolation, feelings, depression, you know, loneliness and all that. Um, you know, those aren't always the best environments. You know, I know people watch the TV and all the distraction on Facebook and that, but really, you know, getting in touch with this, you know, she does have a presence, she does have an energy, Mother Nature, and, you know, she will help. She will help. You know, I'm hoping the stronger I get, the more aware, aware I can make these videos, you know, and, um, and, uh, more will come to light, you know, more understanding will come to light and the depth of understanding will grow stronger and I'll be able to actually convey energetically a bit deeper in a way which people can truly connect with and understand uh, and, and, and be helped to and guided out of being stuck and more into a place of being able to transmute these things and actually, um, you know, grow. There's a couple of really nice birds just down there can't see him now but so cute see it's full of life you know I, I really long to be somewhere where like you know um it's just full of life because uh i'm not really one for um cars and and stuff you know and the noise of the modern world doesn't really do much you know for me and it's hard to say whether that is just uh you know, from a point of view of a wound, wounded soul. I think I might actually drop this word trauma at some point and just say a wounded soul, you know, a wounded being. I think I kind of like that more, you know. When you truly let this in, you just think, look at this place, you know. Like, it's it's outstandingly amazing, you know. And, and for a lost soul, you know, which I do feel like I am, <laughs> you know, partly lost soul, you know. Another part of me is wise and knows, knows the deal. But, um, you know, having feeling lost, uh, coming out here, you know, although you can be away from people, you know, it's very powerful, you know. I think a good mix of being around people and away from people, you know, at various times is good, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry about the cuts in this video, but it's, uh, 
It's as it is. I'm not very into the video editing thing, so I just keep pressing record and stuff on here, you know. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that, like, um, you know, I'm really trying to become empowered in myself and, and bring healing to myself so that I can actually be strong and then, obviously, help other people. That in my life, I'm kind of like up one minute and then I'm like, oh my God, you know, and then I'm up again sort of thing. So, um, so it's hard to sort of, you know, stay in that zone and, and feel really productive, you know, and this is a, this is a thing for wounded souls, you know, like it's really hard to, to maintain that focus and that energy when half your energy is, is like wrapped up in this unexpressed grief and that, you know, just wanted to show these, how beautiful this fern is and stuff, you know, I'm a real like fan of like the, um, the prehistoric sort of feeling, you know, like, uh, nature and that, you know, uh, I, uh, I feel a deep depth, you know, going back to to Jurassic sort of times, you know, and whenever, you know, you you can almost sense uh, those times on the earth when you look at certain plants and that, you know, and I do feel like she's one giant being, you know, and we don't see it clearly, you know, our, our, obviously our mind labels different things and says, you know, tree, plant, you know, soil, blah, 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 and uh, no, <laughs> no. It's, uh, it's more than that and it's absolutely beautiful so obviously when we're wrapped up in ourselves it's very hard to see the world out there and really really truly appreciate it when you're hurting you know and that's why I do understand for people who you know are suffering with depression and that you know but I feel very excited to understand what's on the other side of this you know what's on the other side of, of carrying around such a deep wound that keeps rearing its ugly head and you know I don't even want to say ugly though because I feel like I want to actually accept it and not call it ugly and <laughs> put it over there it's like okay this is a wound you know and the thing is in the old times you know it, the the ancient world I'll say again you know um, we understood deeply you know the need to heal the need to transmute and grow the need to tend to wounds you know we understood that you know um, I know we do it now with our doctors and that, but we're talking wounds in turn, you know, emotional as well. You know, we, we understood the implications of the changes in life that we would make, you know, we, we understood that, you know, if a family split up, you know, that's a massive thing and went to another tribe, like that's really, really big, you know, <laughs> and we understood how our actions right now would affect the future through being more connected to our truth which obviously the modern world a lot of people are very disconnected and they make silly decisions and they're not not in control so much you know of their their life so and the other thing i just wanted to say about this stuff is that you know, when you've got the deep wounds like this, it's like you're continually searching outside, not just with the addictions and stuff, but it's like, for me, you know, like searching for someone to be with or searching for, you know, someone to share with or, you know, so there's this very difficulty and sometimes I love being on my own, you know, but there's this, there's this difficulty in being really uh, always okay in that space, you know, sometimes the loneliness really kicks in and like for someone like me, like I'll find it hard um, walking past lots of houses and seeing the families, you know, inside and knowing I'm alone. And, you know, my girlfriend just left me like last month, you know, after 11 year relationship. And, uh, you know, because she needed to experience what she did and find someone else. Um, but so i've there's this sort of just isolation you know and uh, it's really weird just being back on your own permanently you know <laughs> that's the one thing you know <clears throat> it's this emptiness and this pain anyway i'm just gonna not go on about this now but actually try and i'll try and breathe a bit and i'll come back on the video again uh, when I've when I've had a bit more breathing, see whether 
any more awareness comes up, you know? See what happens. Um, another thing I wanted to say that it's like it's becoming really evident and aware to me um, that healing is coming from the females very strongly. Um, sorry, I just wanted to show you that. Look at the light on that. Look how nice that is. Amazing, isn't it? Everything's amazing. <laughs> I think. I think after I've after I've healed all this stuff, I'm going to be like, whoa, you know, like just everywhere I look, things are going to be amazing because it is amazing. It's just we exist in another world where we're not really connected to the real world, you know, in our minds and fears and things. But anyway, um, I really feel like the, the feminine, you know, uh, there's a lot of females out there, you know, and, and I've met a lot of people recently and um, a couple in a few in real life, a lot of them online, and there's a lot of women who I really feel are carrying that pure vibration and really have the will and really wish to to heal and change, you know, and grow. And they're kind of dedicated to it, you know, which I think is really good. I've got a couple of male friends as well who, uh, one one guy in particular who's really really wants to just be the best he can and, and grow and and uh, connect with others and you know he creates music and that and um, from a deep and beautiful place and so there's this real need to connect to other people on the same level you know who really understand the sacred connection of life and uh, you know the depth and meaning beyond the illusions you know and what a gift it is to be here, um, especially for those of us who are in touch with our soul enough or lucky enough to be able to come through and really raise our vibration to a place where we, to where we can actually truly uh, evolve and, and grow, you know, I'm not sure what I'm saying it, but <laughs> so. Yeah, there's basically a lot of really good people out there who I feel really happy to have met and stuff and feel quite called to uh, to talk to more and share with more, you know. Um, so that's a really beautiful thing. So thank you for all those people who've connected with me and uh, the new friends and that, you know, people I don't really know that much yet, but I just feel instantly like a heart connection and, a, and, a, and a, just a feeling of wanting to meet them and stuff, you know. So it's really cool. Because I do feel like it's in this coming together that things are really going to change on the planet, you know. I'm actually getting the feeling like I should go to Avebury now. Mostly because of these standing stones. <laughs> they're not standing stones, they're just bloody stones for this thing. But it reminded me, you know. Look at that tree, look. It's amazing. But it's just a tree. Okay, so I was going to say about grief and that, you know, and childhood things and all this stuff, but it's not really turned out that way. So maybe I'm just finding it too hard to actually express what I feel on here. can't chase them. Okay, I'm aware I'm just wasting screen time here, so you can't really sort of see much on on the phone, you know, it doesn't really give a real representation of being anywhere, you know, the beauty and the magnificence of it all. But um, I just wanted to say that I feel like it's very very powerful out here and a life lived mostly 
out in nature gives you a real representation, more, more of a real representation of reality than living in the confinements of a home. Obviously in uh, colder countries we need to live in a building which is insulated and warm, you know. But everything about my past years had led me to, uh, to more warmer countries, partly due to diet and that, you know. But maybe, I don't know what came first, I think, well, the diet kind of came first, which I was just eating more raw vegan, you know, and not uh, keeping things simple, you know. Uh, which led to, I suppose, uh, you know, in the colder climates, you want more, um, you want more things like potatoes and meat and all that, you know, in the colder climates. And, um, yeah, <laughs> losing the plot of what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so the colder climates are, you know, you, you need that other stuff. So what I'm trying to say is that I changed my diet and it's just pulling me more and more towards going to tropical places, going to tropical places, you know. So it's really good if you know what your soul is trying to tell you to do, you know, and where you're trying to go. So I think to wrap this up anyway, what I want to really do is try and get together uh, many bullet points and and... Uh, things which explain uh, how to retrieve your soul, you know, and how to bring back your soul, you know, and power, very, very powerful things that can be done, you know, from the world foods to, um, you know, to the exercise, to the body movement and that. These cars are distracting me now. Um, to eating well, you know, uh, wild foods are very good. Um to the many things that you can do you know anyway i'm gonna wrap this up now because i'm wondering and losing the plot a bit <laughs> so cheers uh take care and thanks for listening to this but uh yeah cheers